Hello everyone, my name is Thomas, I E Unlucky, and today I want to react to Minchu being named the starter. I saw this pop up on my Twitter. I know he was officially named the starter a few days ago, but this article really intrigued me. And this guy's comment at the top saying there's no competition, the Raiders have two backup QBs, they need to trade for a legitimate starter. I do not agree with that entirely. I currently have the notion that we do have two backup QBs. You know what? Fair. Competition, I disagree with. If we have two backup QBs, one of them's got to prove themselves. I mean, obviously, we got a wrong young guy who's on the older side. And then we have, we have an experienced veteran. Looking at the article, versatility played a factor in Gardner Minshew being named the starter. I highlighted this play where he identified pressure, rolled out to the weak side, waited for Mayer to get open on his route, and hit him downfield. Like they're they're showing, they're highlighting that he he has the ability to make plays. We have known this in the time that Gardner Minshew has been in the NFL. This isn't shocking to anybody. But one thing that does kind of make me scratch my head is Antonio Pierce mentioning, "Oh, we." We wanted Minshew to be the starter because we believe we can get off to a fast start with Gardner Minshew. Now I have reason to support this idea. I also have reason where I can't support this idea. We play against some pretty interesting defense, especially against pass rush. Los Angeles. Got Joey Bosa and Nick, uh, not Nick Chubb. Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. Baltimore can't really think of anybody, but when has Baltimore ever really had a bad defense? Carolina, we smoke. At the very least, we win by like a touchdown, but I genuinely think we'll beat Carolina. Cleveland, you got uh, Zedarius Smith and Miles Garrett. And I guess you can even include Jeremiah Okuso Koromoa there. Owusu Koromoa. Solid front seven, at least in terms of core pieces. Denver not worried about Pittsburgh go up against Alex Highsmith, uh, TJ Watt, and Cameron Hayward. Real fun day <laughs> if if you're the quarterback against the Pittsburgh defense. Uh, the Chargers and the Rams, I mean, not really too concerned about them. Chris Jones is always a fun day, and maybe George Karloftis could be considered an issue if he continues developing. Trey Hendrickson in Cincinnati, that's really about it. I'm not too worried about Cincy. Miami, I guess you have Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips, and I believe they have one more. Maybe. Not too concerned about them. Uh, Tampa Bay's kind of becoming a little bit washed. I mean, Joe Tryon Shoyinka is not what we thought he was going to be. Shaquille Barrett's gone. That's who went to Miami, I'm pretty sure. Atlanta, you have Grady Jarrett and Matthew Judon. That could be a somewhat concerning duo. Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen and Jacksonville. New Orleans has Cam Jordan and I think somebody else. I really don't remember. Then the Chargers again. Highlighting the defensive lines because we're starting a rookie on our offensive line. At least I'm led to believe so with Jackson Powers Johnson. Then our right side of the offensive line does need developing. I mean, Thayer Munford and Dylan Parham have, like, shown starting capability, but they aren't, like, like superstar players. They're not, like, at least above average in their position. Which can be an issue, especially considering uh, Zamir White's likely going to be the starter. He's gotten touches over the years, but he has never been a proven starter. Now, there is something that I can put on our side to re to support the hot start. And you know what? I'm going to go over to the depth chart to support this idea. Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, Trey Tucker, Brock Bowers, Colton Miller. Or not Colton Miller, Michael Mayer. You have a solid cast to throw to. Even if Trey Tucker drops a ball, like one out of three catches... One out of three uh, targets. Trey Tucker has the speed to keep the defense honest, which I think is important. I think the Trey Tucker and Zamir White will be very helpful to each other in their career. Uh, Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer also opens up room for Zamir White or room for Trey Tucker to go 
turn on the burners. I think this offense has a lot of potential, and I think Minshew has the potential to be somewhat of a rich Gannon for us Raiders fans. Where, all right, he's gonna, you know what? He's finally gonna step into his role as a starter and prove that he is deserving to be a starter in the league. We have an all right offensive line. Andre James, Colton Miller are the stars of. The offensive line with Jackson Powers Johnson hopefully going to be one of those guys. Maybe even Dylan Parham developing into one of those guys. Maybe we see more from Thayer Munford now that Jermaine Illuminor is gone. I I really just am going to have to see it on, in, on game days. But I think the highlight of our team, which we were able to highlight a lot with other teams, is our defense, especially our defensive line. Max Crosby, what, almost 15 sacks last year? Malcolm Kuntz, almost double-digit sacks last year. I think he finished with eight. Don't know what Christian Wilkins had, but he doesn't have edge rushers like Crosby and Kuntz next to him. Or didn't in, I guess he kind of did, but Nick Bradley Chubb tore his ACL. Then we also got Tyree Wilson, who hopefully can develop. Also don't want to sell short Byron Young and Adam Butler. It might have been Matthew Butler, one of these Butlers. Did have some impact last year. One of them had five sacks. I don't remember which one. But this defensive line makes me pretty intrigued to see what's going to happen, especially against some of these better teams. But then even at the linebacker position. Robert Spillane is the veteran of the group. He has been proven to be pretty solid. Hopefully Divine Diablo can continue to develop and become an above-average linebacker. And then we obviously have Tommy Eichenberg, the rookie. Maybe he starts at outside linebacker, become a tackle machine in the NFL like he was at college. And then it, our DB group, I love Trayvon Merrick. I don't have too much of an opinion on Marcus Epps. I'm really excited to see Jack Jones continue what he did last year. We have Nate Hobbs, who has been who's been proven. Nothing, No concern about him. And we also have DeCamerion Richardson. I'm not going to write off Jacorian Bennett, but it'd be interesting to see with uh, Richardson's speed what he could do on the outside. Now, with me highlighting our defense, there are a few teams that I think could have a really rough time with our defense. The Chargers. Carolina. Maybe Cleveland. Maybe not. Denver. Pittsburgh, Los Angeles, maybe Kansas City, definitely Cincinnati, maybe Miami, probably Miami, Denver, maybe Kansas City, probably Tampa, 50-50 on Atlanta, most likely Jacksonville, most likely New Orleans, and then the Chargers again. I think we have the opportunity to get this hot start that uh, Antonio Pierce thinks Minshew could do. One thing that mainly concerns me about Minshew is these two columns. Touchdown to interceptions. He's thrown 59 touchdowns to 24 interceptions. So he's just throwing, he's throwing about a little over two touchdowns for every pick. All right. I'd like that to be closer to three. Obviously last year, not a great year for this ratio. He got 15 to nine. But if we can keep that under control, have a ground game that isn't clouded by potential holdouts that lead to a player not showing up fit for the season. I mean, we got Zamir White who's hungry to show that he's going to be the starter or that he wants to be the starter. Maybe we get an extension from the Raiders. As long as Minshew can break 20 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions, I think I'm, I think we can achieve this hot start, and I'd be really happy with Minshew as our starter, maybe even in the future. Obviously, there is the flip side to this. Minshew throws a lot of picks, and our run game doesn't pick up like we think, and our defense is still good. I could see us in a situation where we draft a QB. Either way, the way that I'm kind of approaching this season as it does start in... I think 16 days at least for Raiders fans I am gonna back Minshew being the starter 
I'm going to be real. I don't know if I really ever believed that uh, Aiden O'Connell would have been the answer. That's simply an age thing. He might have the talent, but my thought is, is I'd rather have a guy that when he's getting ready to be extended, he not be 28 or 29. It's like, because realistically, how much longer are we going to have him? Like, if he was a super athletic guy, it'd be a real issue. He is a little bit more of a pocket passing type, which could be okay. But, I don't know. We're just going to have to see. I'm excited for this season. Hopefully, the Raiders make the playoffs. And hopefully, Gardner Minshew takes this opportunity to be a full-time starter and absolutely runs with it. That's all I got for you today. See you next time. Peace. Peace.